Over the past 30 days, Luka Doncic is down 11.6%, Trey Young is down 23%, Zion is down 22%, and Ja is down 16%. Is it time to panic about the sports card market? What's going on, guys? Matt here, back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be speaking about the modern sports card market dropping. I'm going to be speaking about my opinion on it, and I'll give you guys a few tips on what I would do. Using Sports Card Investor's Market Mover feature, we can actually go through the past 30 days and see the biggest rises when it comes to sports cards. There's actually a common theme when we look at it. You can see there's established players like Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony, as well as Hall of Fame players like Patrick Ewing and John Stockton. As you guys can see as I'm scrolling through, there are very minimal young players that are in it. When we go to the flip side and go through the players that have dropped the most over the past 30 days, excluding the 2020 NBA draft class because the only cards that they have right now are their draft picks. So a card which is a college uniform card and will not hold up long term. We see players like Kobe White, Brandon Ingram, Ben Simmons, Trey Young and Zion Williamson all in the red. But what do we also not see here? any Hall of Fame players or any established players as well. What does this mean for sports card investors? It means money is flooding the vintage market. People are wanting to invest into blue chip investments a little bit more and people are taking money out of the riskier younger prospects. Is it time to panic about the sports card market? In my opinion, absolutely not. The sports card market works in cycles and it's necessary to have the lows with the highs. And it's also impossible for the market to just keep going up and up and up and up forever. If any of you guys are familiar with investing in shares, you might have heard the saying from Warren Buffett, which goes, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. What this quote means is if people are greedy, that means there's an opportunity to overpay for something because of a lot of hype. But that means also when people are fearful, it actually presents a great buying opportunity. Right now in the sports card market, I actually feel like we're in the fearful stage. Um, constantly on Facebook, I'm seeing posts every two to three days about people saying, oh, is the bubble bursting? Um, cards going down, this is the end of it all. But in my opinion, I think it's actually time to buy again. You're getting the opportunity to buy Luca at a 12% discount, as well as Zion at a 22% discount. And these are two players that actually haven't had bad seasons at all. Every sport experiences this dip during the season as well. It doesn't matter if you're looking at the NBA, the NFL, baseball, soccer, uh, people, as, as the season starts, people get excited over the start of the season and hype starts to build and prices start to go up. But then as the season starts to go on, people lose interest and that's what we're seeing right now and that's the dip. I think what you'll find leading up to the playoffs is that hype and excitement will build back up and this will cause prices to go back up as well. Personally, this is a bit controversial, but I actually have a riskier investment portfolio when it comes to sports cards. I actually choose not to have the majority of my holdings in blue chip investments. I prefer to actually go for the younger prospects. Reason being is with the Hall of Fame players, I find it a bit boring to hold their cards because you know, in the end of the day, they, they, will, they will go up, but you're unable to track them every day or ride the highs and the lows with them. I find the riskier prospects as well allow for more short and medium term opportunity. And that can fund even more riskier prospect buying or even fund your blue chip investments. You guys also have to remember this isn't going to go away anytime soon. You've got celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Chris Brown who are buying into boxes now. You've got athletes like LeBron James and Kevin Durant who are buying their own rookie cards because they see it as an investment opportunity. And then you've got funds who are willing to dedicate their, their money just straight to sports cards as well. This general panic talk is nonsense. Cards are becoming more and more like art every day and I think it's here to stay. In summary, buy the dip, buy the panic, and block out the doomsday people. As always, guys, appreciate the support. Give us a like and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care, guys.